Now, the Bank of England meet on Thursday, and there are signs of disinflationary forces already at work. They're meeting at 12 o'clock UK time. In the UK, headline inflation has fallen from October's high of 11.1% and is expected to drop below 10.1%. Core inflation is also expected to fall down to 5.7% from 5.8%, showing that disinflationary processes are at work in the UK. So if the Bank of England cuts interest rates again, and if you just take a look here at expectations, uh, expectations are that the Bank of England will be on hold. So there's a 50% chance of seeing the Bank of England staying at 4%. But if you just look at previous decisions when the Bank of England has cut rates, what you see is that the euro pound pair tends to gain after a rate cut. Now, a rate cut is not expected at this decision. But an on-hold decision with some dovish forward guidance could have a very similar effect as a Bank of England rate cut. So it's worth being aware of this reference point that the euro pound, when the Bank of England does cut rates, tends to gain after the event. The major trade risk here, of course, would be if the Bank of England maintain their rate hiking stance and feel more work still needs to be done surrounding inflation. Remember, HYCM clients can access the Seasonax product in order to analyze over 25,000 different currency pairs, indices, commodities, as well as individual stocks. Please do contact your account manager for a free trial to get started right away. Certain products and services mentioned herein may or may not be available to all clients, depending on which HYCM Capital Markets Group entity their trading account adheres to.